When I speak to people about youth basketball, the two most common complaints are one, uh, teams playing zone defense, and two, uh, a coach or a team using its best player to basically take all the shots. So they get the rebound, they dribble the length of the court, and they shoot. Um, so lack of ball movement, lack of involvement from other players, etc. Um, essentially just one player being the superstar, um, you know, and taking over. Uh, the ironic thing to me is that one way to prevent one a single player from, you know, driving every time down court is to play his own defense. So we have a problem with, you know, what's a bigger problem or how can we solve both problems at the same time? Um, personally, uh, I don't see, I, I, I never use zone as a coach. I never use zone as a player. Um, but I don't see zone defense as quite the plague on youth basketball that other people do. Uh, reason being, um, again, zones are going to tend to increase the number of passes per possession. Um, or the need for increasing passes per possession, which I think can be a positive thing. Um, it also forces more outside shots, which again, that's one of the reasons why we think of it as a bad thing in, in youth basketball, because players lack the strength and maybe the skill to shoot consistently um, you know, from the outside. So consequently, you, you know, playing a zone feeds into that and benefits from that. Um, and so you're taking advantage of the lack of skill, if you will. Um, the other way to look at that is if teams are allowed to play zone and we can't just let one player drive to the basket all the time, uh, it forces players to work on their shot. Um, somebody's going to have to become a better shooter so that our offense can work. Um, so I think there is a counter argument to the main argument. Um, but more to the point, I think the answer isn't should we play zone or shouldn't we play zone. Um, I simply believe that if we have players who are going to say aren't skilled enough or aren't strong enough to shoot from the outside, um, to make playing zones more difficult and force zones to not just kind of protect the paint. To me, the answer is we play three on three. Give players more space offensively. Um, defense then has to work harder to cover that space. Uh, there's less help defense involved, so it's a less complex game for the offensive players, less complex for the defense in terms of knowing where to rotate. And it's a better learning experience um, than playing five on five when players don't have the skill um, or strength to take advantage of defenses or to exploit defenses or to force defenses to uh, you know come out of a shell and actually play an aggressive more aggressive type of zone defense as opposed to just you know five people sitting in the paint um, you know so that to me is the answer I I, I firmly believe that uh, youth players should start with three on three basketball not five on five basketball. And I think starting that way would alleviate a lot of the problems or the complaints that we have. Um, in one study that I did uh, with players, playing three on three reduced the influence of position on number of ball contacts. So um, to explain that better, uh, in a five on five game, point guards touch the ball significantly more than wings and significantly more than uh, post players. When we went to three on three, there was really no difference between the point guards and wings, but there was and there was no difference between the wings and the posts, but there was a difference between the point guards uh, and the posts. Um, and to me, I think uh, part of that was because the, the positions were always already established. I used a, a basketball team uh, for the study as opposed to uh, the potential if you started a three on three league and had players who had never played before, never had designated positions, and now they're putting together on team. I think most of those uh, differences in ball contacts uh, would dissipate. So we'd have more sharing of the ball, uh, more players would contact the ball per game. Um, you know, you don't have to argue about whether or not to play zone defense or press or things like that. Um, and I think it's just a better, more developmental beginning uh, to the game of basketball for youth players.